Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I think I'm going to start calling you guys my little makeup minis. Don't know if that's going to stick yet, but hi makeup minis! Uh, today is Tuesday obviously, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm using the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. What is the weather like where you guys are? Right now here where I am, it is super uh, windy. It just rained a whole lot. And by a whole lot, I mean it rained like inch and a half to two inches yesterday. Yesterday alone, by the way. And I don't know if any of my um, subscribers on here suffer from um, migraines, but I do, and they, oh, I have one again this morning, but I'm trying not to let them get the best of me, and when I'm trying to power through and be here for you guys, and also, you know, obviously go to work, make money, so, alright, so today I'm using the Pretty Rich palette by Too Faced. And I'm gonna start off with this color right here, which is called, it's Cashmere. But yeah, this leather is killing my um, head. And of course, with the virus that's going on, my work is very concerned that I have the virus because I just got a random headache. I keep trying to tell them that it's just hereditary headaches. I don't I don't go anywhere. I don't travel or anything. I try to stay home. Except for, you know, like groceries and stuff, but Yeah. But they're very common in my family. Everybody in my family besides my mom and my littlest sister. I just packed that on the outer corner and a little above the crease and then I'm going to take a big blending brush and we're just going to very lightly blend that edge out. But I hope the weather is better where everybody else is at. I hope some of you guys got snow wherever you are. I absolutely love snow and we had one little dusting and then we had a day of actual snow. And that was it. That's normally it for Kentucky unless you get like an ice storm. You either get little to nothing or you get the whole shebang where you're stuck at home for two weeks. There's no in between. Kentucky doesn't go... Ugh. Kentucky doesn't know a nice middle ground. It just knows barely anything and wide open. And then I'm going to take that same brush and I'm just going to wipe it off. And I'm going to go into the color Fancy That. This light brown here. And I'm just going to put that right over top of of the edge just to blend it out some more. Same brush, by the way. I think I said that, but our weather here has been super crazy. And it's supposed to snow tomorrow. Like we just got all this rain and then it's supposed to be below freezing tomorrow and it's supposed to snow. Like there's a 75% chance of snow. If that doesn't tell you how crazy Kentucky's weather is, I don't know what will. Just had some thunderstorms and rain and it rained an inch and a half to two inches and now they're talking about snow tomorrow and then it's supposed to be like super nice the rest of the week and it's supposed to be up i think it's supposed to be up in the 60s next week that's why us kentuckians stay sick all the time <laughs> all right and then i'm just gonna take this brush by real techniques this is their base shadow brush and I'm going to go into the color, oh, that's rich. It's the super dark brown. And I'm just going to focus that on the outer corner. And into the crease a little bit. And then, so I ended up coming home early from work because of the migraine. I started to get sick with it and started to see double, so didn't want to risk having to drive home when I couldn't see it all because that happens sometimes. And uh, we get home last night 
from um Michael took my husband took his truck to go get um checked for body work and got home last night and my goober butt of a dog this one right here um decided to rip his paw pad almost completely off so that's fun very fun okay so i just i'm taking a little bit smaller of a blending brush i think this one is from wish honestly and I'm just blending that dark brown into that mat. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab the concealer I'm going to use today, which is the Pixi uh, Padaway Concealing Base in shade Cream. And I am going to do a half cut crease. I'm just using this uh, flat, rounded packer brush by BH Cosmetics. And then I'm going to take the color Don't Care at All, this really pretty gold. And then I'm going to take that same brush that we used to apply the dark brown, and I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit just to bring it into that gold. So, it turned out really well. I'm going to take my L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Smoldering Eye Pencil and just line my upper waterline. And I'm gonna attempt to draw a wing. We'll see how this goes. Because yesterday it didn't work out so well in the beginning. There's that all done. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab my primer. I'm still using the um, Soft Rodeo or Soft Rodeo, however you want to say it. Soft Focus Glow Drops, ultimately all illuminating ultimate glow primer. And I don't use a lot because I only do half of my face for work. This video is made before I go into work, by the way. <laughs> Peak season for me, so I'm going in a lot earlier. And staying a lot later, which honestly could be why. Another reason why I have, I have a migraine. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit for about two minutes and then I will be back. All right, and we're back. So I've gone ahead and sprayed my um, Physician's Formula Insta Ready Setting Spray. It's been a couple of minutes and I've let that primer really set in and get tacky. Um, but I use the, the Physician's Formula Setting Spray, well any setting spray, to help uh, my face feel tackier for the foundation to stick to. I'm going to pop my nose set up real quick because I forgot. And I put my foundation on the back of my hand. I'm using the Maybelline Superstay 24-hour uh, matte foundation in the shade 110 Porcelain. And then I'm just going to use this double-ended foundation brush by Al the brand Algenist. And I'm just going to start applying it. I don't even know if I've said what I do on here. If I haven't, which I will probably check after this because it'll bother me. What do you all think that I do for a living? And if you're on here and you know me, don't ruin the game. Because <laughs> I do know my um, middle little sitter, sister, 
not the youngest, the middle of the three of us, follows me on here. For concealer, still the same one. Oh my gosh. So, I um, am still in college. Um, but, I will, I'm just using this um, Flower Beauty question mark brush. It's their EO1 brush. Um, but I'm still in college. And I want to know your all's opinions on something. So I've been in college for four consecutive years now. I um, did take a semester off between high school and starting college. And then I took technically, it was two two semesters off between my associates and uh, starting my bachelor's. So in April, I graduate with my bachelor's degree. But here's the kicker. For what I'm going for the reason I'm going for my bachelor's degree, I still need, I'll probably still need like 25, 30 more credit hours. And, um, um, a few more classes. I'm starting to feel burnt out, but I think that I could still push through. Do you all think that I should keep going and not take a break? Or do you think I should take a semester or two off to regain my wits and realize that I do actually like going to school? Because I'm going to school and not just because it's for a job. I don't know, I'm torn. I feel like if I, um, I feel like if I keep going, I'm gonna fail out because like I said, I'm already pretty, pretty burnt out. Like I have no motivation to do my work anymore. Um, and I definitely don't wanna fail out cause I'm paying for everything out of pocket. I. I'm just using my Maybelline uh, Superstay Powder Foundation in the shade 110 Porcelain to set the rest of the foundation and concealer. Oh my gosh, have you all heard that um, trailer for the movie The Little Things? That movie sounds so good. I want to see it so bad. I don't remember when it releases though. I heard it on the, the radio the other day, the, the or Spotify, sorry. Um, I heard the trailer for it and I was like, oh my gosh, this sounds like a good movie. And I also want to see that one where the um, woman goes out, the main character woman, she goes out and she pretends to get absolutely slobber faced drunk to make men think that she is drunk to see how many of them will try to take advantage of her. And then she beats the snot out of them. I want to see it so bad. I don't remember what that one's called either. I'm really bad with movie names. Unless it's Disney. Honestly. Mini brow pencil by Tristic in the shade Americano, by the way. I just ran a clean spoolie through my brows and then I put that on. And I'm going to run a, the same spoolie through my brows again. Um, I'm just running um, my Wonder Brow Brow Gel in the shade Brunette through with the spoolie that they provided. This is just to help the hair stay where I want them to stay. And I don't even thoroughly enjoy finding movies and shows to watch ones that we wouldn't typically pick 
like I don't normally like um old timey movies and stuff I, I feel like sometimes I can get a little boring but like Bridgerton and um Elias Grace and uh Outlander oh my god Outlander. all of these are novels and I'm going to have to read them I'm reading Outlander as we speak I am on like the fourth or fifth book I think I've said that in a previous video but anyway so yeah okay I'm just gonna take that oh that's rich color on a small blending brush this is elf's detail crease brush and i'm just gonna place that on the outer corner of my lower lash line then i'm gonna dust all this powder away with my uh, kabuki brush from elf so i'm going to use the same things i've always been using i'm gonna use my benefit bronzer my hula bronzer and then i'm gonna use this blusher brush, I believe my parents got me this and I set from Walmart. I just really want like the, the brush color. And I'm just gonna put this right on my cheekbones and up so it lifts my face. And Lucifer, I believe that's also a book series. Oh my fucking god, sorry. First time you guys heard me, guys. Um, Lucifer. Mm. Mm. That last season was kind of dumb, though. I'm not gonna spoil anything because I don't know if anybody's watching it right now and trying to, you know, enjoy it. So I don't want to ruin it. But last season was kind of dumb. That's all I'm gonna say. Like it was good, but it was also dumb. And then I'm going to take a big old fluffy brush and I'm gonna blend it out I do it that way just because that helps me get a little bit more pigmentation I know that a lot of bronzers you don't need to do that with but I like a very bold bronzy contour look so I go a little bit ham with that most people go ham with the blush I go a little bit ham with the, the bronzer and contour I still go a little ham with the blush too I wonder, sometimes when I'm filming a video, you hear sounds like that. That's my dogs. They snore and they're back talkers. <laughs> so, just so you guys are aware. Okay. Now I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush in the shade Innocent Blush. Same blush I've been using. Just going to apply that right over that contour bronzer. Sorry. Now the one I was telling you about that, um ripped his paw pad basically completely off. He's my problem child. He makes me question whether I should be a dog parent or not because that child, ever since we got him as a puppy, obviously, he, as soon as we got him, okay, not two weeks after we got him, he just started throwing up for no reason. Everything, throwing up everything. He couldn't eat. Took him to the vet, absolutely nothing wrong with him. Almost a $200 vet bill. For them to tell me nothing was wrong with him i was like are you freaking kidding me well he got better they gave him fluids and all that and whatever well then i'm just taking that same big blending brush and blending that blush in with that contour bronzer sorry um well then flash forward to a couple of years he rips his dew claw off like rips it off have to take him to the vet and get him antibiotics and all that fun jazz. I'm gonna spray my face and grab my uh, Christy Health Elf highlighter in the shade White Pearl. So <clears throat> I'm just using a blending brush, honestly. Okay, my highlight. I don't like fan brushes. Anyway, ripped his dew claw off. Had to get um, antibiotics for him. And stuff well not a month or so after that heals he does it again he rips his dewclaw off again don't know how but he did and then him and his sister were playing and she got a little too uh, rough with him and tore a hole in his side I don't blame him 100% for that because you know but I do blame him a little bit because he should have stood up for himself. But whatever. Anyway, 
She tore a hole in his side that looked like a gunshot wound. So we had to take him to the vet for that. And now he's ripped his paw pad. Oh, and then he started, before the paw pad thing, he started having seizures around Christmas. Like, he's just got it all going on. Like I said, he makes me question whether I should be a dog mama or not. Because he is, he is the problem child. And he waits until after we've already uh, gotten him to successfully breed with another dog before he starts having the seizure. So that makes us worry too, because what if the hereditary is? You know what I'm saying? So he's just the problem child. That's all there's to it. That's all there is to it. Now we just need mascara. And then we will be done. I'm using the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara in Black. Yes, this is a sample, and yes, it's almost done for. I actually have a hair and nail appointment today. And I finally get to go do them again. I'm so excited. I used to love getting my nails done. It was so um, relaxing. And I just really enjoyed getting it done and everything. And I feel like it makes you look more professional to have your nails done without them being chipped or whatever. But anyway, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Helps your girl out a lot. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye, Makeup Minis.